Welcome to this video about the computer science course at Trinity College Dublin. My name is Vasilios Kutavas and I'm the Associate Director of Undergraduate Teaching and Learning in the School of Computer Science and Statistics. The study of computers in Trinity goes back to 1962 when the first computer arrived here. The School of Computer Science was founded soon after and counts more than 50 years of operation. It has since provided a robust and up-to-date computer science education to students. We are located in Trinity's main campus. This is a great location for us, close to the heart of Dublin's Silicon Docks area. Major technology companies have offices within walking distance from our school. And our school has built relations with these companies, for example, to have our students take up internships there. This is something that has proved to be a great advantage for our students. Our degree programs are quite established with an excellent reputation among employers. Our graduates have proved to employers that they not only have high technical abilities, but also a wide range of skills which are relevant to the modern workplace. Things like being able to communicate or to work in teams are quite important in the computer science education at Trinity. We are also innovating in the teaching that we do to make sure our programs are always modern and up-to-date. The school has an extended network of graduates in various academic and industrial positions from which our recent graduates can draw from. We also have a reputation for being innovators. Both our staff and our students have been involved in a number of startups. You will hear a bit about this during this video. We are also an important hub for computer science research with a number of big research centers and projects housed in the school. The school is organized around five academic disciplines, artificial intelligence, graphics and vision, networks and distributed systems, software and systems, statistics and information systems. We have 65 academic staff and an additional 35 staff that provides administrative and technical support. We have 150 research staff and about 120 PhD students. The school is leading major SFI research centers and projects. Centers like ADAPT, which involves innovations in digital media and content, CONNECT, which involves telecommunication technologies like 5G and the Internet of Things, and projects like Enable, which creates technologies for connecting communities and the cities of the future, and vSense, which houses research in the area of computer graphics and vision and augmented reality. These are just some of the largest research projects that are running within the school. We are also involved in many other research projects across all five academic disciplines. Staff and graduates from the school have been involved in founding many technology startups. Names like Swerve, Havoc, Demonware and others you may have heard of. Trinity provides significant support to students with initiatives like Launchbox and Tangent. These support students who want to start their own companies during their studies here. Students of our school have taken advantage of these supports to launch a number of technology startups. I am delighted to be joined by Ronan dowling Kulen, one of our recent graduates who has founded his own companies while doing his studies at Trinity. Let's hear from him. Ronan dowling Kulen, and I am a co-founder and CTO at Bounce Insights. I studied computer science in Trinity and graduated with a bachelor's in 2019. And Bounce is a startup that I founded in my final year of that computer science course. Today, I'm going to tell you a little bit about entrepreneurship in Trinity. In particular, I'm going to focus on the societies and organizations that are there within Trinity to help you achieve your entrepreneurial dreams and also about my startup, Bounce Insights. But before I do that, I just want to touch briefly on computer science as a course and my time in computer science and how that helped me become an entrepreneur. So I'm sure you can all find the coursework online and the curriculum, um, so I won't bore you with that. But what I think is really interesting about any student's time at Computer Science and Trinity is the projects that they work on, because they're unique to every student and they tend to be larger scale, real world projects that are helping real clients. 
Um, so in first year in computer science, I built a data visualization dashboard with a team of three other students uh, to help with the visualization of Dublin bus data and to see bottlenecks and other issues that they were having. In second year, I built a mobile app that helped international students timetable their classes in a unique way and really deal with all those clashes that they were having. In my third year, this was actually one of my early entrepreneurial endeavors. So I worked on a project that was an in-browser cryptocurrency miner that would help um, websites who didn't want to show ads to their users still earn revenue by asking the user if they could mine cryptocurrencies in a disparate way using their computing power. The project actually went so well that myself and a friend of mine who were on the team decided to pursue the project as a business after uh, the college term had ended. Unfortunately, our technology broke. Um, we were both in final year, so we decided to pack it in. Um, then in final year, this is probably my favorite project uh, throughout the course of my computer science career, but I worked with MSF, which is Doctors Without Borders, um, to build an incubator which helps them detect um, whether or not water is drinkable. MSF do a huge amount of work for uh, developing countries and countries in crisis by providing medical aid um, to them. So that was really important and really, really enjoyable to see the, the fruit of my work in computer science being applied to a, a really important situation. Um, and then the final project that I want to touch on was my final year project or my FYP. Every student who graduates with a bachelor's in computer science will do a final year project. And this tends to be a larger scale piece of work that they work on over six months or so. And they're graded quite importantly on it. Uh, my project was a visualization of the CPU inside an ARM processor. Um, an ARM processor is the same processor that's in almost everybody's mobile phone these days. And um, you guys will learn about CPUs, about processors throughout the course of this computer science course. And Potentially, you will actually use my visualization as part of one of your modules if you have Jeremy Jones as a lecturer. The next thing I want to talk about is entrepreneurship at Trinity. Um, so entrepreneurship is a huge part of, of the culture at Trinity, and there are many, many entrepreneurs. There are two main societies and organizations that will help with that. The first is Trinity's Entrepreneurial Society, or TESS. And then the second is a newly founded organization called Tangent, um, which is an organization to help students pursue their entrepreneurial careers. Um, so TESS has two main um, events that they run that help with entrepreneurship. The first is TESS's Incubator, which runs over a period of weeks and helps student entrepreneurs really flesh out their ideas and also uh, validate their ideas and build a team behind their ideas. Then later in the term, um, usually around February time, they have a Dragon's Den competition, which I actually entered in 2019. Um, <clears throat> This has over 10,000 euro in prize money and you get to pitch in front of real uh, dragon judges, some of whom are actually on the Dragon's Den TV show. Um, Tangent being the college's side of uh, entrepreneurship in Trinity, they have two major pieces that help with entrepreneurship in Trinity. The first is an undergraduate certificate in entrepreneurship, um, which is a, a new piece as of last year. And it has, I think it's one of the most subscribed courses within Trinity. Uh, and the second piece, which is the part that I wanted to touch on most importantly, is Launchbox, which is Tangent's student accelerator. So every year, Tangent takes on about 10 teams for the summer. They give each of those teams office space, mentorship, and 10,000 euro each to work on and pursue their idea. And I was actually part of Launchbox 2019 with my company, Bounce Insights. All of this together has actually resulted in Trinity becoming the top university in Europe for entrepreneurship. This means that we have the highest number of graduates out of anywhere in Europe for becoming entrepreneurs. The last thing that I want to touch on is, is my own company, Bounce Insights. Um, I founded this company in 2019 with friends that I had met in Trinity uh, who were all entrepreneurial minded, some business focused and some computer science focused. And um, we founded it in January, 2019. We had a beta launch on September, 2019 uh, for a freshers week. We had a commercial launch in July, 2020. Since then we've closed a round of funding and we've been generating revenue for the last few months. Um, we've had over 13,000 downloads of our mobile app. 
We've had 6,000 meals donated through Stampify to children in need in third world countries. We've serviced over 25 clients and we've had over 100,000 bundles completed. And what Bounce Insights really does is it's a consumer insights platform. So we connect brands with consumers that they can't reach through a really easy to use mobile app and client facing dashboard. If you guys have any questions about Bounce Insights or about the work that we do, feel free to check us out on bounceinsights.com or you can download the app Bounce Insights on the Google Play Store and the App Store as well. Thanks very much. Now, let me tell you a bit about what it would be like studying computer science at Trinity. The first three years of the program are dedicated in studying the breadth and depth of computer science, building up a solid foundation on which you would base your further studies and your career in technology. For example, during those years, you would be doing some mathematics, learn how to program, and learn how to solve problems in fundamental areas in hardware and software. All this knowledge is built up from first principles and requires no previous experience in these areas. At year three, you will decide whether you want to study for a fourth year leading to an honors bachelor degree or study for two years leading to an honors bachelor degree together with an integrated master's in computer science. In both routes, during those final years, you would specialize in chosen areas in computer science by selecting choices of modules that are provided by the school. In both cases, students complete a substantial capstone project during their final year. This is done under the supervision of an academic in a topic chosen from a list of topics given by the school. Alternatively, many students choose to propose their own topic in an area that they're very much interested in. Again, these are supervised by academics of the school with relevant expertise. In the five-year route, students perform an internship placement during the second semester of year four. This extends over the next summer. This internship placement lasts for six to eight months and is usually in well-known companies, organizations or research labs. The internship process starts by attending an event which matches students to companies, organizations and research labs. Then students choose the positions to apply to, prepare and submit their CVs and attend interviews. And once in place, they start an, a paid internship for six to eight months, working on real projects and products. The host companies provide a mentor and the school provides an academic liaison. When students go for the internship, they're quite ready to graduate with an honors bachelor degree. This means that they're quite advanced in the stage of their careers and quite capable of being hired as permanent staff in those, in those companies. This means that the companies are able to give interns really good projects to work on. And students then acquire important real world experience and a network in industry that they can later use to start their career after they graduate. The internship program has been incredibly successful. It has received really good feedback. Companies are telling us that our students are not only technically very strong, but they also have great communication and team working skills. These are really important skills to have as a professional in technology. So what would your day look like if you are studying computer science in Trinity? You would be spending around 40 to 45 hours per week working on your college work. About half of that is spent in lectures, labs and practical tutorials with us. The other half is spent on independent study, working on assignment, project work and working with other students in group work. Finally, there is some assessment happening around December and April, May. Thank you for watching this video about the computer science course at Trinity College Dublin.